two. 808 right now, a new toy museum is opening its doors at the Hilton Hawaiian Village. That's right, Christine, and Dallas Antiveros, he's there live with a sneak peek of what to expect. Good morning, Dallas. Which. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Chris, Atronic, and Christine. Well, we're having a great time here at the Heroes Toy Museum. And hanging out with us on take two, we have one of the co-owners. This is Brian. Good morning, Brian. Good morning. Thanks so much for having us here. And I got to hang the holy triton up, just like this, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> ah, so cool. Thank this you. place is so neat. Tomorrow is the official grand opening. Yes. For those who want to come out and support, what time does it begin and where can we find you all? Actually, we are open at 11 a.m., but we do have a lion dance celebration at 4.30 to 5 o'clock. Okay, yes. so the celebration's at 4.30 tomorrow afternoon, yes. but you all open the doors at 11 o'clock tomorrow yes. morning. All right. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at your collection. Let's start over here in the D.C. and also uh, part of the Beanie Baby collection that you have here. This is such a cool space because it really takes you back in time and it also gets you excited about all the different movies and characters that are out right now. Yes. Yeah. So um, I'm a big fan from Marvel, D.C., Disney, Pixar, Japanese animation. So our museum basically dedicated to um, fan and who want to becoming a fan, you know, on this sort of type of things. And to my knowledge, from what you said, this is the first toy museum here on Oahu, correct? Yes, I believe so, yes. Okay, and this is all your personal collection? Yes, it's my personal collection for over 35 years. Over 35 years. Now, I, I'm just imagining, how was your place at home? I mean, getting all the boxes out, setting everything so perfectly, you really have to create your own world when it comes to this place. Yes, all this figure actually was in the box three weeks ago, so they just first time see the light of day, and my wife had uh, persuaded me to, you know, we should share, um, you know, my collection to the world, so here we are. So I know it is a museum, but you have some hardcore DC, Marvel, Disney fans out here on the islands. Yes. Is anything available for purchase? Yes, we also have a highly collectible uh, figure for purchase for the younger audience and also for the hardcore collector on this side, okay. which is as, as uh, many of them are the same caliber collector, collectible uh, figure, the one you see in the museum here. Now, I know there's some people who are probably watching and they're probably thinking, hey, I had that before, or oh my gosh, why did I open that box right there? Could you just give us an idea on how hard it is not to open some of these, to some of these toys and how much money they're worth? Uh, it's super hard, and especially I do also collect um, a figure for my daughter, and I didn't allow her to open any of those, and thank you, she didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, so um, the figure can range from a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars. Um, depends on the popularity or what type of figure um, we have. And in your own words, what makes collecting so much fun, whether it is toys or these different dolls and these different special pieces that are connected to some of our favorite movies out here. Yeah, so I just love it when I was young, when I was a kid, and I just always imagined that, you know, I, I can have the actual, you know, figure or the person that, you know, I can be friend with them. And it's, that's how I kind of start collecting uh, different type of figure um, from the movies that I personally love. So, and through the year, I, I just getting more and more and more, and basically my house have no room for it. So, <laughs> so I have to kind of just move about 60% of my personal collection in this museum. Wow, this is just 60% of the collection. And like you said, you're running out of room, so yeah. now people can check it out here at the Hilton Hawaiian Village. Yeah. Like you mentioned, the doors officially open tomorrow, 11 o'clock in the morning, but there's a small celebration and blessing happening tomorrow afternoon at 4.30. Now, in the next half hour, yes. we're going to get into some toy demonstrations, and I already saw a little bit during the commercial break. You all don't want to miss this because you're going to see some really cool stuff on how these toys really come to life. So, Brian, you're going to be with us, and for more information on what to expect when it comes to the Heroes Toy Museum. You can visit our website at kh12.com. Reporting over here at the scene, Dallas Navarros, K22 News, working for Hawaii. Oh, Dallas, thank you. I'm looking forward to the next segment because yeah. honestly, I wasn't expecting that kind of toy museum. Mm -hmm. Carpeted walls, toys still in boxes, big Marvel fan, and he said that's only part of his collection. We're all like kids in a toy store. Exactly. <laughs> all right, coming up, Maverick is still soaring with moviegoers, including internationally. Nonstop. Yes, we'll break down.